There are seven areas of our lives that we must attain balance and excellence before we can claim success in life. If one or more of those areas are successful, while the others lack balance, then we are not actually successful as we think. Proverbs 16 verse 11 says, A just balance and honest skills are the Lord's. All the weights of the bag are his concern, established by his eternal principles. It is God's will that we live a balanced life, excelling in every area of our lives according to our priorities in life. God does not want us winning in one area and then failing in the rest. The seven areas of our lives that we must achieve success by being balanced include our spiritual life, our relationship with God, finances, academics, career, family, relationships, and health. It is important to place these areas of our lives on a priority list, giving the most attention to the one that tops the list while making sure that the others are not adversely affected or receiving no attention at all. Without balance in all seven areas, every other area of our life will be hit with its effects because all areas are connected in different ways. Number one, our spiritual life. This signifies our relationship with God. When our relationship with God is strong and going well, all other areas of our lives will tend to balance out. There's a common mistake that Christians make that seems to be right and normal. Putting God in front. We misunderstand Matthew 6 verse 33 that says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. When we place him in front and try to do every other thing on our own without involving God in it. We are supposed to place God at the center of our lives, in the middle of everything else, because he holds it all together. As Colossians 1 verse 16 to 17 says, he was there before any of it came into existence and holds it all together right up to this moment. And when it comes to the church, he organizes and holds it together like a head does a body. The strength and consistency of our relationship with God determines how strong and excelling all other areas of our lives are. When we start failing in our relationship with God, backsliding, all other areas of our lives are affected. We can build a strong, intimate relationship with God by studying God's word, spending time in prayers, meditating on his word, becoming members of Christian communities, and participating in the activities, contributing to the move of the gospel, loving others as Christ loves us, just as we have been commanded to, spending time in worship, and making worship our lifestyle, not by singing worship songs, but by intentionally and consistently surrendering our lives to our maker, living by example and living out the glory of God as expected in Romans 8 verse 19. Number two, finances. Developing a balanced financial life. It's not just by increasing our finances and our monthly income. The basis of having an excellent and balanced financial life lies in how well we manage and take care of the finances and wealth that God gave us. Now, we can achieve this by educating ourselves on money management, buying resources, reading books, and joining communities that give sound financial advice. We can also achieve a successful financial life by building good saving and investment habits, creating and living with a budget so as not to go over our income and run in debt. It is also important to build the discipline to maintain these habits because we will not have the motivation every day to make wise decisions with our finances. We cannot be asking God for blessings and breakthroughs in our finances if we lack the knowledge and discipline to put it to good use. If our intention for seeking financial breakthroughs are selfish, God will not answer our prayers because just like James 4 verse 3 says, and even when you do ask, you don't get it because your whole aim is wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. It is also important to understand and accept that God will not give us the blessings that we lack the character to maintain. So, while we ask for financial breakthroughs, we should also seek knowledge and finances so that we can fully utilize God's blessings to his glory. Number three, academics. 
For those who are pursuing an academic career path or whose career paths require certain levels of academic qualifications, it is important to have a balanced and successful academic life. Now, this is not achieved by pressuring yourself to read and study with the same methods that your friends and colleagues are using. Understand your reading style and know when and how you are most comfortable to read. If you read better at night, do not force yourself to read during the day because your friends read during the daytime. If you understand better through visual learning than cramming long terminologies from textbooks, make videos your friends. You do not have to follow every other person's method that your setting will not work for you. Allow yourself to work within your strengths and capabilities instead of trying to be someone else. Also, while you work within your strengths, make sure that you are putting in your best effort at what you do. Maximize your time to work best for you. Study as hard as you can. And if academics is at the top of your priority list, make sure to give it your best shot. Put your best, put all your time and effort, and do not forget the God factor. Number four, career. It is an undoubted fact that with the current rise in technological advancement and digital trends, there's a shift in work environment and roles. The pandemic that shut down the world in 2020 was great evidence that in the next 10 to 20 years, a lot of people will lose their jobs as technology will slowly but fully take over. To beat this trend, one must seek to continue staying relevant in whatever field or industry he or she is involved in. As the world advances, it is more necessary and important to stay updated and equipped with the necessary skills needed in various fields with the inevitable paradigm shift. What are the current trends in your workplace? How do you improve yourself to remain relevant in the things you do? Should you be fired from your job today? What other skills can you fall back on to make more money, whether via remote jobs or in-person jobs? Stay relevant in your career path by always improving yourself, even as the digital age fully takes over. Number five, family. Now, family is the only area of our lives that we do not get to choose the people involved. However, family is our first ministry. Not only the family we were born into, but the family that we will create or have created with our spouses. You may choose your spouse, but you cannot choose your children. It's very important that we take care of our family, treating them with love, respect, and dignity, just the way God treats us in his family of love. We should not look down on any member of our family and we must treat everyone equally with love and respect. No one is more deserving of preferential treatment than the other. In family, the love of God leads. Number six, relationships. I once read somewhere that the quality of our relationships with the people around us is a reflection of our relationship with God. When we're in constant quarrel or disunity with our neighbors, friends or colleagues it shows that our relationship with god is having issues now some people tend to look down on the people in their lives for various reasons forgetting that god can walk through anybody to send us our blessings it's important to always treat people nicely with love and respect it's a flawed mentality to only treat people nice because you are expecting something from them or because you think in the future you might need their help everyone deserves to be loved and treated fairly, whether they have anything to offer in return or not. Number seven, health. The best investment that we can make today is investing in our health, especially as young people. When we start early or take care of our health, our future selves will be grateful because we will be saving ourselves from various diseases and disorders. Also, when we start investing in our health early by eating healthy, doing exercises and staying fit, we are stopping ourselves from spending money in the hospital as we grow older. Taking care of our bodies is a great way to show gratitude to God for the gift of life. God bless you.